I'm just going to shoot a short little video showing you about the new Facebook Group Insight tool, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, it, July 2017, when I'm shooting this, it's not on all groups, it's just getting rolled out at the minute. So once you get it in the groups, it's fantastic for, for actually showing you how active your group, what's happening in your group, and how you can actually improve on your group, and times to actually post in the group. So first of all, I'm just going to talk you through it, and we'll start off, this is what it opened up, uh, open, open ups as. Uh, so we click on that, it opens up, and it's preset at 28 days. So if you wanted to change that to 7 or 60 days, you can, but we'll just leave it at the preset one just to show you through it. So basically what we've had here is, in this particular group, is 82 members join. And actually we'll show you the graph of members joining, so that's great. That's If your group's possibly growing members, that's a positive sign, so that's a good thing to have. If it's losing members, then you've got to do something to actually sort of sort that out. Um, 142 was approved two declined and three blocked so i always take negative people out there if it do something negative and i'll just take them out because you don't want ne negatives like a cancer will just just kill your group anyway so get rid of that that's my opinion on that one so any engagement so then we'll go click click on the next one which is engagement and again that gives you the figures over the last 28 days and you actually can see the engagement going up and down um, so obviously the more engagement you get, the more it's getting seen. So that's that's a good point to have. Um, out of the 3,000 people in the group, I've actually got 1,743 active members, which is good. That's a good percentage as well. Um, so that's what you're looking for to have your members active. And this is showing you, showing you the ups and downs of the activity. And then it goes down to popular days. Um, so... This is a, this is this particular group. This is for the popular days. This is the popular times as well. For some reason, you can really. So once you've got the group, you can change that the days, the different times on the the days which is popular. So if you've got a really, if you're selling products and you you find that there's a particularly good time where everybody's on, that's the time you want to be really active in the group because it's engaging with as many people as possible. And then at the bottom, it's got all the posts and the activity of the posts. And you can then you can actually download the information if it's, if you wanted to print it off and uh, save it as spreadsheets uh, to work on the different engagement. Um, so I'll just come and click on some, some so comments. You click on that. This is a reaction to the comments. Again, the different days on the comments. You can have a little flick through round and play with that. And then reactions. The different reactions in the group. On the different times, again, you can have a look and you can print that out. So it gives you a lot of detail to analyze and make make your group much better. So it's much better to have this than we didn't have it because you can really sort of see what's going on in your group. If you've got a ghost group where nothing's happening, then you've really got to work on sort of starting out the activity in the group, which is a completely different video. So that's how, how the, the Facebook Group Insight tool works. If you like that video, just give it a like or put a comment below if you see it on YouTube. Uh, subscribe to me videos. Um, share it with your team. But this is a fantastic way to get the Facebook Group's uh, activity up and make sure you've got a really lively group and not a ghost group. So if you enjoyed that, have a great day and I'll speak to you soon.